to PLT or not to PLT? That is today's question. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know my name is Sharon I am a law graduate from the University of South Africa as of 2022 uh, so it's pretty recent <laughs> but yeah welcome to my channel if you're new please do um, like this video comment and subscribe <laughs> Um, in this video, as many of you may tell, I'm going to be speaking about practical legal training or PLTs for short. Um, I'm currently doing my PLTs and I will say that it has not been an easy journey. Um, <laughs> I started my PLTs back in February last month, basically, and I'm, I'm doing them virtually because I have a full time job um and it's it hasn't been easy juggling that it has been a roller coaster of emotions for me and yeah but i'm just going to talk about the benefits of doing your plts and what that could mean for you if you are planning to be a um attorney in the future or someone who wants to you know just further their understanding of the law the main reason that i'm doing my plts is so that i can cut my articles in half um so one of the first benefits that i looked into when i did my plts is you won't be required to do the full two years of um articles you just do the one year basically and you're still able to write your board exams even though you're not a registered um, clerk so that is one of the reasons why i wanted to do my plts and also just to help me prepare for the board exams my board exams um typically i think this year people are writing board exams in august but you can write them in february march if i'm not mistaken i stand under correction those who are writing their board exams can comment down below when you guys are writing um <laughs> but yeah um so that was one of the first benefits that i chose to do my plts for but i will say that it is quite taxing because I work from 8 to 4.30 and then at 4.30 I leave the office and travel back home and then I have to attend my classes at half past 5 to half past 8. Now it is very difficult I think because um, you have to really time manage very well and I, I think that's something that I've always struggled with and I think it's something that you can work on obviously but um, your time management skills have to be on par because you literally from 8 o'clock I'll give you an example. I will wake up at 6 and travel all the way to my job And the commute alone is like an hour an hour and a half because traffic is uh, Don't even get me started on traffic um, Get to work work until 4 half past 4 get on the road traffic again for about an hour get home, get ready to sit down for the lectures, do the lectures from half past five to half past eight. And mm, it has not been easy. <laughs> and to make it, I don't want to say worse, but to make it more complicated is I'm married, happily so, but I still have to be a wife. <laughs> so the task of, of managing PLTs and managing um, a full-time job is, is hectic I, i'm not even gonna lie about that it, it's been it's been yeah so uh, if you're thinking about doing plts it's a great idea one for the reason that i mentioned you're gonna cut your articles in half two you can write your board exams without being a registered clerk and three you really just you you benefit by learning more about the law and you if the law is what you like why not you know why not add the plt spice why not drizzle a bit of that plt stress well spice <laughs> on that so yeah that's why i chose my uh to do my plts however however and i say this very lightly there are a few cons to doing your plts and when i say cons i mean financially um the course that i am doing is eighteen thousand rand and now not everyone has eighteen thousand rand and even i had to break the bank i had to use my bonus to pay for hmm. anyway <laughs> i had to use my bonus money that i got last year to pay for my plts was it worth it yeah it was worth it it was worth it but um would i do it again spend eighteen thousand rand just like that 
<laughs> so that's the first con is you, uh, financially it's gonna bankrupt you if you've got the money well and good like please go ahead spend that money or if you've got like an employer who can do it because you know some of us are blessed like that um do it like ask your employer do it because it'll benefit them in the long run as well so yeah do that um the second con i don't think it, i can call it a con really i think you just have to manage your time but it takes a lot out of you i'm not even going to lie to you it takes a lot out of you some lectures require that you read beforehand i had this one lecturer and i'm not going to mention names we had this one lecturer this other day and he's still our lecturer for this week did my men not fight students <laughs> Oh man, okay, did someone asked him? Yeah, so I'm just gonna say this briefly. Someone asked him, Hold on, where's the page number? <laughs> Where are we at on the thing? And they just, it was rude also. They interrupted him and he was like on a roll. But he was like, It's, it's, I told you guys you must read beforehand. Hey, it turned into a rigmarole, guys. Like, <laughs> it turned into something else. So you're expected to read beforehand, like, unless you wanna be tussling with lecturers. <laughs> read beforehand um and i i don't have that luxury of reading beforehand because you know the commute to work and all of that other stuff and yeah it's it's really up to you but i think it's it takes a lot out of you and it it builds character i don't know <laughs> do it don't do it girl do it i would say do it it helps i i honestly i there's nothing wrong with doing the two years of articles if you want to do that do that but i i really would like to cut it in half so yeah just get admitted as soon as possible <laughs> you know uh get out of the, the the candidate attorney role as soon as you possibly can that's just my two cents on the whole thing now you know obviously if you're doing articles and plts at the same time that is a huge huge blessing but 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 and it's a huge but um it can be time consuming and it can take away time from I don't know important things but obviously you it, the decision is definitely up to you if you can time manage if you can speak to your employer maybe to cut your hours in half or if you are able to do that um then by all means do it but if you are not able to be an article clerk or work full time and you are able to maybe just focus on the plts i would suggest that you do that because it does take a lot out of you it takes a lot out of you and i'm not even joking like some days i get home and i'm exhausted and that time like so many things are happening but i want to do this and it's it's something that i pay for painstakingly but at the same time it's okay it's okay not to be able to do both at the same time like if you can't do it you can't do it um and there's nothing wrong with that uh obviously you you maybe you're in a situation where you are not able to to stay at home and um you have to you have bills to pay you have kids to, to feed and all of this other things so i would say if you're not able to do articles hold off maybe just stick to what you're doing right now and then if you're a paralegal stick to that if you're a legal uh, assistant or legal secretary stick to that and then once the plts are done assume the role of the candidate's attorney because that role is very punishing guys i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> but yeah um this has just been my two cents on whether or not you can or should do plts the just to summarize the three benefits are you don't have to do the whole two years of articles um secondly you um learn about the law and you know you, you advance your your knowledge of the law um thirdly you it's skipping me now thirdly 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 you can write boards without having to be an article clerk so win-win cons money wise it's gonna chow your money <laughs> it's gonna chow your money that's my play it's gonna eat your money but um <laughs> it's worth it it's worth it the second con is it takes a lot out of you your time it 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 really drains you like i'm not even gonna lie especially if you have so many other things that you have to do but character building right character building thirdly time management if your time management skills suck and i know mine do maybe you have to make the decision to let something go you know and focus on plts so yeah that's 
just my two cents on whether or not you can or should do plts um it's up to you those who are doing plts let me know down in the comments how are you finding it are you are you coping are you not coping do we need to start a support group talk to me talk to me anyway thanks for watching this video guys thank you so much for tuning in i'm gonna try and be more consistent but you know your girls so um, don't judge me <laughs> if i see you guys in the next six months you know what it is <laughs> but yeah thanks so much guys thank you so much to the people that have just subscribed i'm gonna do start doing uh subscriber shout outs on the next video um just for now i really hope you enjoyed this video um again i think i should also include a disclaimer this is not legal advice and neither should it be construed as legal advice <laughs>